I think everything in life is just taking that chance mm -hmm. um, and taking that risk. The worst thing that could happen is that like it doesn't work out and then you have to try something else. Technically, like I was a failed pre-med student. I tried to be a lawyer for five minutes. I worked in PR for like, not even five minutes, five seconds. I was terrible at it. I worked in a magazine. Like I tried so many different things. If you're thinking about your career and it's like, well, what do you love doing? Like what gets you like going in the morning? Like what are you the most excited about? And like find a way to do it. Find a way to get closer to that. You've always been so authentic and, you know, with with your social media and with, with building this community around you, really, you know, bringing them into your life in all the different dimensions. Are there things that you still don't feel comfortable sharing or things that you keep, you know, parts of your life that you keep for yourself? It's always been my personality to be like a compulsive, like, sharer. So I was that person where if you're walking around in Soho and you see me and you ask me where, like, Mulberry Street is and I'm going in that direction, I'll be like, oh, I'm walking in that direction, like I'll show you. And then this is my favorite pizza place, it's called Ruberoso, you have to get the pizza a la vodka, which actually is the best pizza, I think, in New York. My parents culturally are always like, oh, like, don't like take pictures of your food or don't like kind of show this or show that. It's like, these are not like soul bearing secrets um, that I feel like I shouldn't tell people. The more I share, the more people actually tend to support and want to help, which has always, been my like MO. You've been a writer your whole life. Did anything surprise you when you're going into this process of actually writing a children's book? Writing children's books is actually like harder than anything I've written. <laughs> and I've written, uh, you know, anything from an op-ed for the New York Times to obviously all the articles I used to write for Teen Vogue and Lucky and Wall Street Journal. But writing a children's book was definitely the hardest because every word has to matter. You said this is the, your, your first book. What, though, motivated you and inspired you to write this? Why now um, and why this book? For me, um, growing up, I'd always wanted to write books. I was that very nerdy, awkward, kind of like late bloomer girl walking around with like a black and white marble composition notebook and kind of scribbling ideas down. And so that was like me growing up. That's still me right now. You know, as a mom, you read like on an easy night, I read like 10 books a night. And really, like after reading all these books, I just came up with this idea of a kind of sassy, like strong girl character who discovers empowerment through fashion and that's a blend of so many different things in my world. And did it surprise you that you'd feel so nervous about this project? I think people sometimes don't expect that vulnerability. I have always been a really late bloomer and I feel like it took me until um, my 30s to kind of feel more like, okay, like, I'm happy and confident in who I am. And I speak to a lot of women in their 20s who are just embarking on their career and they're like, what should I do? Like, how will I know? And I always say like, forget the 20s, like the 30s are the best. And it's like, you feel empowered and you feel confident in who you are. How do you define success in your life today? I think success in my life today at this very moment is, are my kids fed? Are they happy? Are they laughing more than they're crying? And do they feel safe? Um, and are the lights on? <laughs> it's like literally like I, I, I'm in survival mode um, and I'm not trying to be like cheeky and like dodge the question. Like personal success and feeling content is, is takes so much more importance and like pride in your work and pride in yourself and do you feel like you've done everything you can not just at work but also like on a human level, have you helped someone else? If you were to write a letter to your younger self um, in your 20s, which you said was, was you know, maybe not your favorite decade or liked as much at least as the 30s, what was one piece of advice you wish you were given or had taken at that moment? My main advice back to myself would be to like continue trusting your instincts and don't feel like you have to be like everyone else in general like whatever makes you different is what makes you stronger figure out what you what gets you really excited and talking really fast and then like that's one of the things that you love and just embrace that <laughs>